What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another Foot Champ Highlights video and as you clearly can see, we have got a Team of the Year Lewandowski in the starting 11. It's an amazing, amazing team all round though. We got Sule and Alfonso Davis to get Lewandowski on that full chemistry and I thought it was a great opportunity to put Player of the Month and Kunkel back into the team. I loved him when I reviewed him and obviously I've loved him this weekend as well. He's such like a nice rounded card he can literally do it all he can defend he can go forward perfectly as well but yeah all round is a sweaty team and as you clearly can tell by looking at the bench we have got a stacked bench as well this is the thing right with doing all the reviews on this account, like the SBCs, the objectives, these build up and you tend to obviously get these serious, serious uh, like players, let's say. Like I've got Neres on the bench. I've got Wilfred Zaha on the bench. I got Aubameyang. I got Collins, which I know obviously wasn't an SBC, but I actually packed him untradeable. But yeah, we've got amazing super subs on this account. So if I'm struggling, with my starting 11, I can bring one of those players on and trust me, they will make a difference. But we're starting off with green time finishes. Is this the week that we're going to go once again undefeated? Let's find out. Vinny on the ball though. Green time. We hit it towards the top bins. It's always, always green apparently. 3 no up. 52nd minute. I see Dembele making a beautiful run. And then I see that man himself. Team of the 11, Dolsky. And you guys know. He's not going to miss an opportunity like that. But 4-0, 53 minutes in, we get ourselves our first rage quit. Going into the next game, serious team. The one thing that I really like, feel like is missing for my team is a red card. You know, like, where's my Marquinhos 89? Where's, where's my Neymar? Where's my Messi? Where's my, where's my Mbappe EA? What's happening here? Can I get a little bit of luck out of my foot champ player picks, please? Like, I don't understand how everyone has at least one, like, really, really usable card. The fact that this guy's got an 89 Marquinhos, I would love, literally love to have that card. But, hey, we move on. It is what it is. This guy actually scored up, scored against us, but Team of the 11, Dolsky, showing why he's an absolute beast and just finishes that opportunity right there. 68th minute now, Dembele on the ball, seeing what I can possibly do. You can see the way this guy's defending. It obviously isn't anything special. The way he was just completely running towards, like, the line, let's say, and not really that cut back at all is very very questionable but yeah that game is just going to end 3-1 we're going to the next one he's got once again a very sweaty team this is the thing right i'm expecting every team nowadays to be good you're not expecting to match up against no you know casual gold gold squad let's say no you are expecting to pretty much match up against a full special team the barely barely you're going to see a gold card let's say mbappe is probably the only gold card maybe with kempembe as well is the only ones you're going to see. Other than that, you're probably going to see a Collins. You're probably going to see a Nia Karte. You're probably going to see like a Traore. I'm talking about a right back here. A Klaus. You're going to see so many, so many special cards, which is 100% understandable. Me saying that and then I see four gold cards. Questionable. And they're not even a Kempembe or, an Mb or even an Mbappe in it. Either way. We were called trying to do our little cheeky corner tactic here. 66th minute. But look at Lewandowski. Beautiful turn. Nice driven pass all the way over to, I believe it's in Kunkel. Yeah, it is. And we get ourselves a goal. We are struggling. Really, really struggling this week. Like, you can clearly tell how long it's actually taking us to score some goals. I see Lewandowski not really getting marked. They're not really respecting him how, you know, you should. Like, it's a team of the 11. Finesse shot trait. Outside... Why are you not like marking this guy closely? Why are you allowing this guy to have like two meters of space? There, there's no point. You're going to concede. You're going to, what's called, just get punished, let's say. But look at the composure, the shot cancel round, the keeper and everything. This uh, this week's gameplay, Team of the Year promo being a thing, I obviously understand it. But th th it was the worst gameplay I ever played in. Like, you guys are probably looking at this and you're seeing, oh, yeah, you're, but you're still doing these little dribbles, 11 dolls. You're still dri doing the little dribbles with Mbappe. That I understand that because when I look at other people's gameplay, it looks way faster than what it actually seems. Like, way, way faster. I know for a fact I'm looking at this gameplay right now and it looks perfectly fine. But trust me, what I was dealing with, with the delay, with how sluggish players felt, I was just sitting there like, what is this, man? What is happening? I understand the team of the year promo is on right now, but... It's embarrassing, let's say. Genuinely embarrassing. But that goal is also embarrassing. What like, what even is that? 4-0 in the 37th minute. And we're going to get ourselves an easy rage quit. Gabriel, Seedorf, Coutinho, Barella. You got the new, uh, what's his name? Verdi? Is that his name? I believe that's what his name was. Into the team. But look at this, man. Oh, things you love to see. You know, when you get one of these games, you just sit back. 
and you just you just have to thank the guy. If you want to message him, go ahead and message him. I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate that. But yeah, it's just one of those games that there's so much relief because you're getting yourself you're getting yourself a cheeky free W. 18th minute in though, Lewandowski, beautiful turn. Look at him making that run as well. Just gonna keep it going, see if I, what I can possibly do. Green towards the near post. It's an absolute bullet of a shot, and the keeper had no chance of saving it. 22nd minute. I'm out here trying to take my corner. This guy pauses the game and quits. I'm like, okay, listen, all right? I don't mind that. I do not mind that at all. If you want to go ahead and do that, make sure I'm obviously winning at that time and then go ahead. Don't quit a nil-nil. Don't be one of those people. But look at Sule. He's kind of getting outplaced by Martial, but he does well. Turns me inside out. I tackle perfectly. You know what I mean? Like, it's the look. That's all you need to say, right? It's all you need to say. I don't understand. This is the thing, right? A lot of people were sitting there because I streamed these games, saying they're like, this is what you get for using Kempembe. Hello? Oh, oh what? We're just acting like Kempembe is not one of the most overpowered centre-backs in the entire game. And then look what we score. I'm happy we saved the penalty, but you must understand what this guy is going through right now. He just missed the penalty. I don't know what minute it was. I completely forgot. He just missed the penalty, but then he can see these two goals. Hmm. I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Let's just put it that way. But Lewandowski, once again, man, look at him. It doesn't matter what angle you shoot at. It. As long as you uh, hit it with a bit of power, it's going to fly into the back of the net. But look at this, man. Another one. Another one to add to the list. Things you love to see. That relief when you match up against a team that's literally got no chemistry. It's amazing. And then the way this guy was doing it, I thought uh, for a second he was just going to hit it out. Because usually what people do is pass it short, then smack it all the way to the keeper. I don't like how he passed to the defender. I don't like it. But yeah, he did give me the free win. And uh, thank you. Once again, whoever you are, if you are watching this video, thank you. Graven Birch driven passes it over to Sterling. Look at Sterling turning me inside out. Like, there's not much to say, is there? There's not much to say. It's a beautiful touch and turn. I didn't expect him to turn that fast. It is what it is. Lewandowski on the edge of the box. This guy's got a crazy amount of players behind the ball. It kind of seems like, right, a lot of people was playing five at the back this week. A lot of people. It was so, so defensive. But this guy's going to do a cheeky skill move with Di Natale using the outside foot shot. I cannot believe Di Natale is still as good as he actually is, you know. I genuinely can't. Like, he was really... There were... Like, the hero cards were released so early. And he's still an absolute beast. This is just... <laughs> There's not much to say, is there? Kempembe going in for the tackle. He should be easily coming out of that ball. Next thing you know, it bounces and it is what it is. Nkunku, though, going forward, showing me why he should be in the starting 11 every single week. And uh, we make it 3-2, but we couldn't make anything else. I mean, the third goal was, you know, was scripted, let's say. But all in all, I think I deserve to lose that game simply because I wasn't playing well. I wasn't taking my chances, let's say. Like, with how the gameplay was, the worst it's ever been in FIFA. Uh, what's it called? FIFA 22, let's say. Because, uh, trust me, I played worse in other years. With how I'm playing as well, the combination doesn't really go together. You know? You, you're going to end up losing games. It is what it is. But, yeah, that game, we ended up losing 3-2. We obviously just won that game. That was a quick, quick rage quit while I was talking. And we're on to the next one. We see a Bamiyang. Uh, we see, was it Eto? I think it was Eto, right? But look at Lewandowski running through. Look at the dribbling, man. Look, look at him. Just look at this guy. Like, no way he's going to score that opportunity. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the gameplay might have been bad, but Lewandowski was still turning quite nicely. And, uh, <sighs> these people, man. These people, they have no respect for themselves. So listen, you, you done me with the lack of Keta. I'm not going to lie. I'm not. You done me dirty with the lack of Keta. But look at this. L look at these people. How can you really sit there? How can you sit there and do this? The entire game. I remember this game exactly. This guy did it over and over again. And this is the definition of me playing trash. <laughs> right there is a prime example. What am I doing? Genuinely, what am I doing? I should have got off the game after that first L apparently. Because I don't know what to say. But look at Levin. <sighs> what is that full finish? Like, genuinely, what is that? But look at the tactic that we're trying to do. I'm just abusing Lewandowski's shot. That, that's that's what I was doing this uh, this week. I have, I have a team of the year attacker. You best believe I'm going to shoot from every angle possible. Eto on the ball, though. Plays it. Plays it. Well, plays it? Plays it beautifully to Vieira. Vieira making a run like that, though, was something I did not expect. But, I mean, it was a beautiful finish from him, right? Ball roll, look at that ball roll scoop. Perfect pass over to Mbappe. That's what we call football round here, right? That is perfect. And, uh... These, these people, these, these guys, man, these guys, these certain individuals, 
They're questionable, man. They're very questionable. That is like the tactic. That is, um, I was about to say that's a worse tactic than uh, the RBX back in FIFA 19, but it's not. Let's, let's all be fair. It's, it's not. But the thing is, right, these other top three balls, they're way too overpowered. EA, listen, you're, you're patching these driven passes. Okay, I understand. They were very, very good. I'm not going to go against it, but you need to patch that. Do you need to? That is the most disgusting thing I have seen in a very, very long time. It's the most insane overtop through ball. But look at this. What am I even meant to do? I tackled a guy with Sule. The ball doesn't bounce to me. It decides he wants to bounce straight back to him. Gives him, gives him an opportunity. Look at that. For, like, what is that? I think the two players collided with each other and allowed me just to go through on goal. Hey, I will take it. After the goal I just conceded, I will take it. This guy's doing the cheeky one-twos. Like, I should have expected him to go up there. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Look, Just look at the state of the defending. Look at the state of it. Like, it's all over the place. I need to sort it out. Dembele dribbling on the ball. I see Klaus going for like a really nice overlap. I like that, Klaus. And look at that pass over to Mbappe. I think it was a driven pass, but it bounced for some odd reason. Either way, we got the goal. Two all though. This is the definition of the gameplay being absolutely trash. What, what am I seeing? Genuinely, what am I seeing? Like the first L, I would take that EA. I didn't take my chances. I was playing terrible. whoop de doo right? We move on with our life. The second one, though. Now me and you have an issue, EA. Now me and you have an issue because that opportunity with Kempembe right at the end, the guy driven past it, right? You, you literally patch driven passes. So if a person driven passes towards you, you should easily go for the interception. It shouldn't just glitch straight past them. But if it's bouncing like that, off my boy Kempembe, what do you want me to do? Honestly, what do you want me to do? It was a game that was scripted. I think we all know there's certain games exactly like that. It is what it is. We move on. So that is going to be our second L. And this is the first week that we are not going to end rank one. It's kind of disappointing, but I think it was down to happen at one point, right? It's not going to be like throughout the whole year, we're going to sit there in rank one. It's a 19 and one. You're telling me I'm not going to lose two games one weekend this whole year. Nah, that was 100% going to happen. But the thing that I was disappointed about was obviously, you know, getting rank. No, okay. I was about to say rank two. I can might as well spoil it. I'm pretty sure everyone's watched Foot Champ Awards by now. Okay. So me, first time I got rank two this year. But what I'm not too disappointed about is when someone told me that the only difference between a rank two and a rank one finish is a team of the week pack. Do you guys see my foot Chan rewards? Do you guys know? You guys know, right? F the team of the week packs are trash. You, you, what, 30K guaranteed, that's what it is. Uh, listen, all right, listen. If it's just 30K coins off an L, it's fine. <laughs> It, I thought, honestly, what I thought it was, was one less ultimate pack with one less team of the week pack. That's what I thought it was. But when I heard that it was literally only uh, one less team of the week pack, I was actually quite happy because the ultimate pack, especially a team of the year being a thing, it's where it's all about, right? I want to sit there and see if I can get myself like a, I don't know, a Ruben Diaz, I can sell all one of those, one of those players when they come out. I, I, the thing is, right, I could obviously go ahead and say right now, a Lewandowski and Messi or Mbappe, but... We have to make it realistic, okay? We have to. We can't hope for the best. Hope for the worst team. Not really the worst team of the years, but you get the point, right? The team of the years that probably aren't going to go for an outrageous amount. And uh, you'll probably end up getting it. Vinny turning the guy inside out. That was a very close game, though. 96 of Dan. I don't know what to tell you guys. Apparently, he is absolutely amazing. I know Zidane. I've used Zidane, uh, the 94 card. And he's definitely very solid. It's just... That 96 card was spinning me inside out. I genuinely couldn't believe it. But we are 2-0 up. Look what I'm going to go for. You listen, all right? Listen, I've had enough of people doing this to me, okay? But the thing is, that's not really the tactic. That's like a just a normal overtop through ball. What people do is they go, go all the way to the side and they send the player on a run and they L1, R1 while clicking triangle. And what it does is, is like a, it's like a low driven curved through ball. It's disgustingly, disgustingly overpowered. But yeah. It's a tactic that definitely needs patching. But this guy's team, I'm happy. I'm very happy they gave me a free W because I was not looking forward to playing that team. Red Messi? Red Neymar? Who, who you got in contact with EA? Who? Give me that number right now. Right now. I need it. ASAP. There's no way you're getting that lucky with a Red Neymar and a Red Mbappe. I'll never understand how people get that kind of luck. 
But look at this guy, Virgil van Dijk is on the ground. And what I feel sorry for is the fact that when Virgil van Dijk is on the ground, Lewandowski is wide open, a team of the 11. You cannot leave a team of the 11 dollars he wide open. We all know that's going to end terrible. This guy's outside foot shot as well. Oh my god. The amount of power is stupid. Especially if you green it as well. Yeah, you could put two free keepers in there. They ain't saving it. There's no chance. Absolutely no chance of saving it. But then my boy Vinny misses that kind of opportunity. Well, it doesn't matter. The guy's going to leave. And then look at this guy. Yes, it's not a Messi. Yes, it's not a Neymar. 85 Vinny with an 87 Hernandez. That's all I want in my life, man. I want a usable red. <laughs> that, that's all. That's literally all, yeah, EA. Uh, I'm, that's all I'm asking for, man. Give me one of those cards. One of those cards that's going to slide easily, easily into my team. But yeah, we're ending it on apparently a finesse shot, which I believe was actually yellow timed. And this guy is going to leave the game at 1-0. The most satisfying thing, man, when a person leaves at 1-0 or they give you a free W. But yeah, only two points away from rank one. But it is what it is. We ended on an 18 and 2. And I already told you guys, Foot Cham Awards is already out. We had a base or mid icon player pick. Two, not one, two. So if you guys want to see what I got, link will be in the description. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.